What's up everybody? Skunk72 coming at you from a beautiful 75 degree November Southern California day. Just going cruising around a little bit today. Uh, rolling with the dual cam again on the Bluetooth audio because that task cam that I borrowed from my friend broke. Something went weird with the uh, SD card slot and it wouldn't eject the SD card and it kept saying that the SD card was invalid, try another card and it was like the whole mechanism where the card locks in just is not working anymore. I know my buddy hasn't had it that long. So he, uh, when I let him know that it wasn't working right, he told me not to worry about it. He was going to let me keep it anyway because he's got several different recording devices and he no longer is in his band. He's actually in medical school now. So he, he's not playing music anymore. He's got multiple devices if he ever needs one. And he was going to let me keep this one anyway. So he let me know worry about it. I'm going to go see if uh, we can get a duplicate receipt. Because I contacted uh, Tascam or Teak, the makers of Tascam stuff. And they won't do anything without a receipt, unfortunately. So, I'm going to shoot over to Guitar Center where my buddy bought this particular device and see if I can get a duplicate receipt. Because I believe it's a one year manufacturer's warranty and it's been less than a year since he bought this one. So, if I can get a duplicate receipt, maybe I can get Tascam to replace it under warranty. We'll see what happens. It just kind of sucks these days that there's so much thieving going on that it's like just the consumer's burden now for everything. They won't replace anything without proof that you actually purchased it and didn't steal it. And, and that's because so many people steal shit these days. So we'll see if we can get this done or not. little uh, sad news that I found out this morning on Freedom Riders channel. Uh, Robert Robb, one of the uh, moto vloggers is from out here in California that lived up in Bakersfield. He's a retired San Diego police officer, worked for the school district up in Bakersfield. Put out some really cool lane splitting videos and he would do Throwback Thursdays where he would talk about stories from when he was a cop and stuff like that and things that he saw, things that he did. Uh, I found out this morning that he unfortunately passed away. If I remember correctly, he's been fighting cancer for a while and the uh, cancer finally took him down. So I just want to give a little shout out to him. Rest in peace, Robert. You were a good dude. The world is definitely going to miss you. I can get this worked out and get this test cam replaced because I really love the audio and the control that I had over my audio using it and I'm just I'm beyond disappointed you remember the first day that I used it I had mentioned how the plastic and just the, the building components did seem a little bit cheap although the audio was just amazing So Tascam, if you ever pay attention to what your consumers are saying, you might want to work on that a little bit. So for now, it's going to be, I'm back to having to take two cameras with me all the time so I can get some audio. And I'm back to the point where I can't listen to music while I'm vlogging because the Bluetooth takes up the only connection I can get on my Cena. I 
unless of course Tascam does the right thing and replaces their faulty item this is what I'm going to be stuck with if they replace it I'm going to give them another chance if they won't replace it then there's no way I'm going to go drop $100 on this recorder that's just going to break So, first hurdle has been handled. Ran in and Guitar Center, man, they just kicked down the duplicate receipt right away. So, Guitar Center, you guys freaking rock. That is just good customer service right there. There's no, oh no, sorry, you have to call corporate or send an email to this person. They just fucking printed out duplicate receipt. Here you go. They were awesome. They said that they can't do the exchange for me without a return authorization from Tascam. So I don't know if I'm going to go through Tascam and see if maybe they can do it that way and then I could just run across town and not deal with having to ship things and return shipping and all that garbage. So we'll see. But, uh, you know, bottom line, even if this doesn't work out, and like I said, I'm not real happy with Tascam right now with the uh, quality. Uh, the, the quality of their internal components is great because the recording is just freaking amazing. I'm not real happy with their external quality. But, like, as I was saying when I kind of went off on another thought, was that nothing else good comes out of this at least i know guitar center is good with their customer service and it's nice to see that because that's hard to find these days so thumbs up to you guys keep that good work up really hoping for my next video i have something good to say about the test cam customer service but we'll wait and see uh, one of two things is going to happen. I'm going to tell you all, buy Tascam, their customer service is awesome, and you know, even though it was a little bit of a pain in the butt, they took care of me. Or I'm going to say, stay away from Tascam, their customer service is horrible, they don't stand behind their products. That's yet to be seen. Alright, so my day is uh, winding down here. My rare days off just go too stinking quick, man. But... It's all right, I got out, got some stuff taken care of, got to ride around a little bit, and it works. The whole task camp issue looks like it's taken care of. I'm uh, gonna go ship that off and see what it comes of it. Hopefully they'll at least repair it, if not give me a new one, just do something to make that thing work. Um, the good news, I'm going to send it super cheap shipping, cheapest I can find, and it only has to go about 60 miles. So even ground service should get it there like the day after it gets picked up, so we'll see. I think it might be too late. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it might be too late for today's pickup, but if I'm not too late, it'll probably be there by Monday. And if it doesn't get picked up till Monday, it'll be there Tuesday. So it's all dependent on how quick their turnaround is. And I will definitely follow up and let you guys know how this turned out. Nice illegal U-turn, dude. Putting people in fucking danger. Again, I'll, uh, sorry about that. Um, I'll, I'll jump back on uh, when this is resolved and let everybody know how it turned out. And I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to rave about how good Tascam customer service is. So I'm going to cut it out for today. Um, uh, we'll talk to you all next time wherever side down, shiny side up, be safe, and if you got the weather for it, get out and ride. Catch y'all later.